Hey, great elementary students. This is a lesson for second and third grade uh, graders. But if you're experienced in basketball, you might uh, find that even as a kindergarten or first grader, you can do some of these skills or perform some of these skills. Uh, you're gonna need a ball, similar to the one I have. If you don't have a basketball, then any spear that bounces will work. Playground ball, soccer ball, uh, whatever you need. Uh, so go find one, come back and uh, get ready. Hey, hopefully you found your round, uh, what shape is this? Spear. Uh, that bounces. If you don't have a basketball, that's okay. A soccer ball, like the one Jacob has, will do. In fact, the first game of basketball was played with a ball that was more soccer-like. A uh, PE teacher, Canadian PE teacher in Springfield, Massachusetts, uh, created the game using a soccer-like ball and peach baskets. We don't have peach baskets, but we do have these beautiful peach balloons. And I'm gonna show those to you right now. Perfectly timed because it is the first day of spring. All right, glad you guys are outdoors, getting some exercise, even with all the pollen that is covering everything. Uh, get ready, try your hardest. We're gonna practice and learn some more basketball uh, style dribbling skills today. All right, be ready. All right, I know that we are all set. I have my blue ball here, and Jacob has a green and white soccer ball. What did, you um, guys know we like to name our equipment and introduce ourselves to our equipment. So no. my ball is named uh, Benjamin the Blue Basketball, and uh, it's very nice to meet him. And Jacob's ball is named, all right. And Lucas's ball is named, Pondo Pondo. Pondo Pondo, first and last name. All right, as we said before, we know that this is a, what shape? Sphere, that's right. And we know that spheres roll. So here our balls are rolling, and that is Jacob's ball rolling away and this is Lucas's ball rolling fortunately for this lesson we also have balls that bounce very important part of basketball is having a ball that bounces and we know that you can't just throw and run with the ball like you do in football um, you have to bounce or dribble it the whole way so we're gonna get you guys warmed up and ready to go uh, take a break as you need it. So when I give you a task, you can practice it. Usually about one or three, one to three minutes is good enough. Um, if you get frustrated, stop, take five deep breaths, in through the nose, out through the mouth, pretend to blow the balloon away. If five breath doesn't cut it, go for five more. All right, and then return to the task when you are ready. All right, get ready, first task is coming. All right guys, first task. What we're gonna do, just to get yourself acquainted with the ball again, um, you're gonna just drop it and catch it. I'm gonna do that with one hand because I am holding the camera. Lucas is gonna show us, he's been working since yesterday on this and he's gotten a lot better. And Jacob is going to show us dropping and catching the ball. Uh, let's count how many times, uh, just by ones, to start with bouncing and catching the ball. So I'm going to drop it and then I'm gonna let it come back up to my hand and I'm going to catch it like that. Okay. And Jacob is going to drop it and catch it and drop it and catch it, drop it and catch it. All right, and Lucas is going to drop, drop, and drop and catch and drop and catch all right now it's your turn drop and catch um, for as many times as you feel like you uh, want to and then when you're ready continue the video all right guys so if you felt like bouncing and catching was a little bit too easy for you we're gonna give you a little bit of a challenge so Jacob is gonna show you how to bounce clap and catch bounce clap and catch all right Jacob show us what that looks like Your turn see if you can bounce clap and catch all right so if you have mastered the bounce clap catch then you might be ready for another challenge 
This time you're going to bounce, clap as many times as you can in one bounce, and then catch. So see how many times you can clap, just one bounce. Make sure you catch the ball in your hands. It'll look a little bit like this. All right, your turn. All right, new challenge. It's a bounce, turn, catch. You try to catch it within two bounces and work your way up to bounce, turn, catch with only one bounce. All right, Jacob, what might that look like? All right, don't get too dizzy. <laughs> Maybe take another stab at that. All right, got it. All right, now that we're warmed up with some bouncing and catching, um, and got aware of our space around the ball, we are going to work on pushing the ball or dribbling the ball basketball style. We now have a, a discussion first about these wonderful hands of ours. Um, we want to be using our finger pads to contact the ball so that we're pushing with our nice squishy finger pads. So you wanna go ahead and get your hand. Jacob, show your hand on the ball using those finger pads. Remember he has that soccer ball. And I've got my hand on the ball showing my finger pads. So when you're pushing the ball, you're gonna to wanna to push from the top down and you wanna push it so that it comes back up to your waist. Okay, so you're gonna be using your finger pads to push the ball um, and you want to with enough force to get it back to your waist so somewhere kind of medium force light force is not going to be enough if you uh, strike the ball with too much force then it's going to go way too high way too fast and so it's hard to continuously uh, dribble the ball all right so let's go ahead and get ready and we're going to be dribbling the ball all right if you guys are ready to dribble what you're going to do is you're going to push using your finger pads top of the ball um, see how many times you can push it without losing control. All right, we've got some really good helpers back here. I'm gonna show you what that might look like. All right, guys. So it's your turn. See how many times you can push the ball without losing control of the ball, having to run after the ball. It's easier if you feel like you're losing control, just go ahead and stop, catch the ball, start again. Just keep those counts, count by ones right now. And just a little bit, we're gonna make that a little bit more challenging. Maybe count by some basketball numbers. All right, have fun, work hard. All right, so now this time when we dribble, we're gonna do some basketball math. We know in basketball, you can get a one point shot, free shot or foul shot, a two point shot or a three point shot. So we're gonna start by counting by twos. Okay, so you're gonna count two points for every time you dribble the ball without messing up. See how high your score can get. All right. All right, guys, if we're doing basketball math, we really need to be able to count by threes. So, I've got my handy dandy jerk race board out here, and I'll put that on the screen. So, maybe you can dribble and think uh, at the same speed every time the ball bounces. Get, give yourself three points. Three points. All right. You can do it. All right. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Now try it on your own. See if you can get above 30. We know what those numbers are. A lot of you were able to go way above what was written on that board and I'm really proud of all of the math skills that you guys have because to score in basketball you got to keep track add them up be able to multiply a little bit too so just part of playing the game I know some of y'all are really good at basketball so I'm going to make sure that you are challenging yourselves to use both of your hands uh, with all the other tasks I didn't tell you to use your dominant or non-dominant but now I am you're probably using your dominant hand the whole time I would like for you to try to use your non-dominant hand all right rules apply but you have a choice this time you can count by ones twos or threes every time you dribble the ball using your non-dominant hand so 
Challenge yourself. Pick something hard. Get smarter. Ready? Go. Jacob is going to uh, dribble the ball from one hand to the other, called a crossover. So from your dominant hand to your non-dominant hand, going from your dominant hand to your non-dominant hand, back and forth. When you do that, you're instead of contacting the very, very top, it's just slightly to the side. So it pushes the ball to your other hand. All right, Jacob, what does that look like? All right, guys, you know to play the game of basketball, you have to be able to walk and dribble the ball. Uh, for you guys, I want you to go ahead and set a goal. If you can walk about the distance of what would be considered a half court, um, a third grade, even a whole court without losing control, that'd be great. So that's the goal. Um, half court, second grade, whole court, third grade, dribbling without losing control. How do you do that? You push the ball slightly ahead of you. You keep the ball away from your feet. Um, use those finger pads, dribble and keep the ball coming back to your waist um, so you don't have to reach down and get it. Not too hard so you have to run and go get it. Um, let's see what that looks like. All right, now you try practice really does make perfect okay if you're having a hard time dribbling the ball using your finger pads to push it's okay drop catch and walk drop catch and walk for those of you who are really good pick it up to a jog if you're really good at that pick it up to a run all right always challenging ourselves all right before we get to our last task of the day I want you to practice dribbling at a high level a low level and a medium level all right Jacob what would that look like All right, practice high level. You have to push the ball a little bit harder. Medium level, we've already done that, and low level. So go ahead and get really close to the ground so you can dribble the ball. All right guys, last task of the day. Get something um, small that you can pick up. It could be little pieces of construction paper. It can be um, if you have small bean bags or GI Joes or little plastic dinosaurs, Legos, anything that's small. Um, spread it around on the ground or the floor just like that. Your task, dribble, pick up the little objects that you spread out and put them in your hand. Uh, carry them to a destination or a bucket or stick them in your pocket. All right, let's see if you can do it. I'll do a demonstration and then it's up to you. All right guys, the goal is to keep the ball dribbling and pick up all the pieces and carry them to your destination or put them in a bag or put them in your pocket. All right. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys learned something. Uh, if you look at our GES physical education page or the WhatsApp physical education uh, YouTube channel, we'll keep you updated with more activities. Uh, keep practicing. Practicing definitely makes for a better athlete. All right, practice, 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 and I'll see you later.